Good morning. Thank you for joining us for our Veterans Day Mass. It is so unfortunate that we cannot be together this year as we have been so many times in the past. But our hearts are united as we honor our veterans of military service. Today we salute and give thanks for the service and sacrifice of the men and women who have served in America's armed forces. They've served during times of war and during times of peace. We honor their commitment to duty and to freedom and to selflessness. We are eternally grateful to those who made the ultimate sacrifice, as well as for those who had the courage to risk their lives to ensure our freedom here in America. This Mass is celebrated in memory and in honor of all who have served in our history and of all who continue to serve our country today. Thank you. As a tribute to our alumni veterans, who died in active military service, we include their name on this plaque as we keep them and their families in our thoughts and in our prayers. Give peace, O oh Lord, to those who wait for you. Hear the prayer of your servants and guide us in the way of justice. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. We are together to celebrate our veterans day. And it's, uh, at this point, it's impossible to have the usual amount of people in our chapel, but uh, we are a small community that is very faithful in praying for everyone in our community. So we will celebrate in person, and we keep in mind those who are participating during this Eucharist um, through the video. And let us begin by recognizing our limitations, our sins, and let us embrace God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have revealed that peacemakers are to be called children, grant, we pray, that we may work without ceasing to establish that justice which alone ensures true and lasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, you must say what is consistent with sound doctrine, namely, that older men should be temperate, dignified, self-controlled, sound in faith, love, and endurance. Similarly, older women should be reverent in their behavior, not slanderers, not addicted to drink, teaching what is good so that they may train younger women to love their husbands and children, to be self-controlled, chaste, good homemakers, under the control of their husbands, so that the word of God may not be discredited. Urge the younger men similarly to control themselves, showing yourself as a model of good deeds in every respect, with integrity in your teaching, dignity, and sound speech that cannot be criticized, so that the opponent will, will be put to shame without anything bad to say about us. For the grace of God has appeared, saving all, and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires, and to live temperately justly and devoutly in this age, as we await the blessed hope, the appearance of the glory of the great God 
and of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people as his own, eager to do what is good. The word of the Lord. Thank you, Savior. Amen. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation, the salvation of the just, the just comes from the Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good, that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will grant your heart's requests. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The Lord watches over the lives of the wholehearted. Their inheritance lasts forever. By the Lord are the steps of man made firm, and he approves his ways. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Turn from evil and do good, that you may abide forever. The just shall possess the land and dwell in it forever. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. said to the apostles, Who among you would say to your servant, who has just come in from plowing or tending sheep in the field, come here immediately and take your place at table? Would he not rather say to him, Prepare something for me to eat, put on your apron and wait on me while I eat and drink? You have eat you may eat and drink when I am finished? Is he grateful to that servant because he did what was commanded? So should it be with you, when you have done all you have been commanded, say, We are unprofitable servants. We have done what we were pledged to do. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I certainly see that this gospel is very, uh, very sharp, it's on target, very appropriate for this cele celebration. A faithful servant is the one who knows that life is meant to be joyful and peaceful, right? There is nothing better than knowing that the ones we love are safe and can come to the table every night to eat, rest, and share our stories. The veterans are those faithful servants who knew this and said to their people, we may eat and drink with our loved ones, but first we want to ensure their safety and their freedom. On Veterans Day, we remember them and acknowledge their contribution. And today in this chapel, we pray for those men and women who once walked, prayed, played, and studied on this ground, and later on went to serve this country. The courage to go and serve a nation in such a way comes from a genuine love for the neighbor. We can look back and recognize that they did it out of love for their community. They risked their lives so that their friends and families, and also the stranger, could go safely live their values and practice their beliefs without coercion. They journey beyond their own lives and committed themselves to the well-being of their communities. They are among the pillars that keep the strength and the abundance, the common good. With pride in our hearts, we remember those who have passed away and look up to those who are still among us. But don't forget, they are not the source of their own strength. It is God, the God of hosts, says the Old Testament. 
God is the one who has come out of himself to protect his people. First, from the bondage in Egypt in the times of Moses. Second, the slavery of sin in Jesus' time. Third, the fears of our own ego in the present, the time of the church. The heroic acts accomplished by the veterans reflect the strength and power of our great hero, which is God, the Lord himself. Their lives and their faces are nothing else but a concrete manifestation of God, God's self-giving action we encounter every time we look at the cross. He is our strength. He is our hero. To all of you and to all of them, the gospel has something very clear to say. You have done what you were like to do. Come here immediately and take your place at the table. Our God is always with us. In confidence, then let us pray. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the church, that we may embrace the challenge of the gospel of life to preserve human dignity, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer for our world, that leaders will find appropriate solutions to all the political and economical challenges we face. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer for all veterans, that they may be given the honor and respect they deserve, and for those who still suffer physically or emotionally, that they may be restored to health and wholeness. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died while serving our country, that they may live forever in the everlasting peace of heaven. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the end of the pandemic, those who have died and those who have been affected, may the Holy Spirit guide us through the solutions that will help us to overcome this situation. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God of every nation, as we remember those who, who gave their lives for our sake, let us be stirred to action in their memory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all this holy church. May the saving sacrifice of your Son, the King of Peace, endure under sacramental signs that signify peace and unity. Strengthen, we pray, O Lord, concord among all your children. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your Word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. 
fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest their resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son and Christ. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son and Christ. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the true Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim Amen. your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Edward, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, 
You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Peace I live with you, my peace I give you, says the Lord. Let us pray. Bestow upon us, we pray, O Lord, the spirit of charity, so that sustained by the body and blood of your only begotten Son, we may be effective in nurturing among all the peace that he has left us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go and glorify the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is true the fruit of thy Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen.